So it's sometimes believed in the fire service for the purpose of emergency uh, rope rescue that you can't go hard on hard, um, specifically meaning you can't go with a hard carabiner into a hard anchor point. Um, and therefore our options are to hard tie our rope into our anchor point or to utilize an anchor strap. I just, I just want to discuss where that hard on hard comes from. We know the hard on hard is a fallacy because we put a carabiner into our D-ring. That's on hard on hard, which then goes into a friction device, which is, again is you know, metal on metal on metal. So to state that we can't put metal on metal in this instance is a little bit of a misperception. The problem comes in when we look at this, um, as to how the carabiner wraps around the steel. And I'm just going to get you to come on in a little bit closer here. And if we look in close, we can see right here where this wraps around, we can see there is a gap in between the steel of the carabiner and the D-ring. So that in actual fact, the carabiner is touching here and here. It's not wrapped around. Is that, was that, mm -hmm. was that shine? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Um, by comparison, we'll bring it back in and we'll take a different style beaner, one that's not as severely angled as this one, and we'll wrap this carabiner around and we'll see that it wraps around very nicely so that we're not creating two pressure points. That's what you want to look for. You want to ensure that the load is placed along the spine of the carabiner and that we're not, we don't have a gap in the middle that is creating um, pressure points on the carabiner. Definitely a soft interface is a better way to go. But, you know, um, we can wrap that, like I said, by hard tying a, a rope around it or utilizing a uh, um, a, a, a soft interface of some kind. But if I really needed to get a line over the edge quickly, we're talking, you know, a game of seconds and inches, which sometimes we are in rope rescue, I can simply take my figure eight on a bite. As long as I have an appropriate size carabiner for the anchor point I'm connecting to, And now we have a hard static line that took about 15 seconds to tie and we can go.